Not some well great done. weather today, though. No, not some yeah. good weather. At no. least it was mild, so we had that, but you couldn't really enjoy it because of the persistent yeah, mist soupy and drizzle out there. and fog. Certainly soupy, yeah, a little muggy by December standards. And a cool looking scene here in the Poconos. Check out all of that fog looming at Jack Frost Big Boulder. The rope, oh, look, he's going ah. he's he's to shred. He's going to shred. No. Oh, oh, he oh. fell. But it's a Give nice him a three. <laughs> and he's still down. At least a four for effort. But it is a nice night to be out on the slopes. Temperatures not too chilly, but yeah, we continue to deal with the foggy conditions and also a few light showers now starting to develop over South Jersey. We will saw a cold front in association with this system that will move through as we head into tonight and we'll clear all of this fog on out. We do have some warm air overrunning in place right now that is contributing to all of this fog and low level cloud. Cover, but that's also giving us some mild air right now. 54 in Philadelphia, near 60 in AC. Same case in Wildwood and up in the Poconos. Temperatures feeling pretty good to get out on the slopes only in the upper 40s as part of a larger warm air mass in place across the eastern half of the country. It's 70 right now in Charleston, near 80 degrees currently in Jacksonville. But just upwind, that cold front is going to open the doors to do some much colder air, actually a secondary cold front that will move through tomorrow and that winter like chill is going to return, but it was absent today. High temperatures running about 10 degrees above average. How about that? 58 our high temperature today. Our normal would have us at 49 and in your coat cast tomorrow, only a light coat tomorrow and you won't even need the raincoat. That'll be nice, but as we head into Tuesday, cold air returns. We're bumping it up to winter coat and then by Wednesday, Day. Yep, it's the drill again, the full winter gear before winter has arrived because we are going to see Canadian high pressure building in over the next several days, though that will bring the sunshine back starting tomorrow. It will be one more day of mild air in place and temperatures take that tumble as we head into Tuesday. By Wednesday, we are contending with high temperatures only in the 30s and that's not going to be the only day. But overnight tonight, fog and drizzle through about midnight for most of us and really starting to clear out pretty quickly on the backside of that cold front. 48 degrees are overnight low and then as we head into the day tomorrow, still mild and running about 10 degrees above average, though it will be breezy. Westerly winds up around 15 miles per hour with some higher gusts, but we will actually see some sunshine tomorrow with a mix of sudden clouds and high temperatures running above average all across the Delaware Valley, but a little bit of a temperature gradient chillier up towards the Lehigh Valley with high temperatures in the upper 40s to near 50 degrees. High temperatures reaching mid 50s to upper 50s down the shore and looking like some middle 50s in and along the I-95 corridor. But looking great for the birds game tomorrow. No wet weather and no frigid temperatures. Expecting temperatures in the middle 40s right around kickoff. Mostly clear conditions. Maybe a little bit of a breeze hanging on as they take on Washington as we head into tomorrow evening. And then we do have a nice sunny and dry stretch. We like that. But check out those temperatures. 39 degrees our high temperature on Wednesday. Only 41 by Thursday. We move onward Saturday. We're still in the upper 30s. By next Sunday, still 40 degrees, well below average. And next Monday might feature something a little bit interesting. So keep an uh, ear open. There is so much time. Yeah. Lots of time to tweak that. Lauren, yeah. thank you so yeah, much. Please.